hello guys today i am very ha happy to announce that uh, i have reached a stage okay, i almost reached an completion stage in the plugin that i have been developing which is a quest plugin for unreal engine uh, i haven't announced many thing about this plugin that i have been working on to anybody uh, so i will give a brief description about the plugin so what this plugin is all about is creating an quest system based on editor features that uh, works similar to that of behavior tree and all so what we have what we have here is we will have a three tech i have added three kind of editors to unreal engine that is one is uh, quest graph editor another one is event graph editor uh, which both will give uh, quest uh, we can create quest if, with quest graph which will act as a main quests and side quest and all whereas event graph we can use it as an events which will expire after time after a certain amount of time and also we i have included an another one uh, editor called a level graph what this level graph does is i will show you some uh, already created one which i have created for a testing which is uh, we have to create a map between levels let in this level graph and after doing that we have to regenerate path so i will explain all this when i am doing the demo video or uh, in future tutorial videos for the plugin uh, but right now what i am going to do is i will be showcasing what and all possible with this plugin um, uh, at present i have integrated this plugin with my project that i have been working this is the plugin code plugin quest plugin and i have created stuffs that based on that plugin so that uh, i can showcase here um, so what i will be start doing is i will start by from creating a simple uh, quest that is a single objective sing, single goal quest that means the go the quest will have only a single goal so let me start creating a quest um, and uh, and before that i will be using this map for uh, showcasing uh, the quest plugin and its features uh, not like a feature this its capabilities so i will start with creating a quest graph um, i will name it as a simple quest graph So as you have seen, it just it just create two assets. That is one is details asset, which we cannot create from. We can create from editor also, like right clicking and doing and this quest details. But when we create quest graph, it will create its uh, paired details and it will assign its by de assign it to that quest by default. So I will stop here and I will fast forward the video after the point where I have, where I have created everything um, you can slow down the video when you are watching in YouTube and take note of that processes creating a simple uh, simple quest here uh, just you as just you have seen it just took me around just two minutes to create a simple quest where what happens here is uh, let me open that quest graph um, yes here is the quest graph so I will reach a location and once I reach the location the quest gets completed uh, for us for the purpose of assigning a quest uh, I have created a simple quest assigner. What it does is, upon overlapping, it will just assign the quest to the player. 
that's all so I will drop this in the world and select the simple quest uh, as the quest that it has to assign to the player so I will start right now um, one thing that you have noticed here is uh, there will be a lot of uh, UI kind of things uh, this and all will not be coming with plugin because this and all belongs to the game that I have been developing um, so I will just pick up the quest now yeah, see now the quest has been picked I will I will be tracking it yeah once I have tracked the quest uh, what happens here is as you can see the quest objective will be displayed on the top left of the corner of the screen this all this are in my game actually the quest plugin will not have this because this kind of things depends upon the games so whoever has uh, works with the uh, uses the plugin can customize it and use it accordingly now my objective is uh, at 6 meter of my dis of distance so this is the objective and at the objective uh, quest is to reach this location upon reaching this location uh, this quest gets completed so I am right now reaching the location as you can see the quest is completed and it has been moved to the completed quest list um, this is all about the symbol quest now let us I will uh, and now I will show about the uh, some more complicated one like branching quest uh, where I have created few options like uh, branching based on the uh, goal node that is uh, we can have multiple goal in this uh, like this and based on which goal that getting completed first the uh, the following branch will get executed that kind of things mm, next is quest based branch node in which um, we can branch based on quest and another one is a branch on branch based on quest in the sense uh, when that goal gets uh, when that goal comes into progress uh, the quest it, the goal will assign few quests that need to be completed to the player and upon completion of a quest based on the quest which is been completed the following objectives will be executed whereas in result based and all the there will be a single objective only but based on the result of the objective uh, the following branches will be selected uh, so I will explain uh, except this one other two I will be explaining here because this one I don't have I have tested it in another one project but uh, right now I don't have uh, uh, the code because of some uh, rep uh, repository issues I suffered I was not able to uh, I committed these things but I I am not able to retrieve it some for some reasons uh, I have to work on that so right now I will show uh, these two branches so after let us const uh, let us move on from this quest itself. Uh, first of all, we can reach the location, and upon reaching the location, what we shall do is um, no. I will just uh, construct everything, and I will come back. Uh, uh, I will fast forward from this point onwards. <music>
guys so uh, I am uh, welcome back guys I am back here so what I have created is give me a second I will just paste this stuff here I mean the additional details that we need for uh, populating this marker and all things right those details are this and what uh, I have I have done here is um, I have created an graph I mean quest where uh, based on the weapon that we choose uh, the objectives to collect ammo will vary so this is like objective based uh, switching uh, that means branching the quest so let me create the objectives objective conducts now in world um, yes so what should be the context here is it should be interactable context so let me create an interactable let us have two objective interactable context one is here uh, this shall be Wait a second. Yeah, this shall be the one for uh, uh give me a second guys. Yes. Okay, yeah. Um yeah, come again coming back. Yeah, the quest craft whatever we have created, right? So Uh, we have to create two context one is rifle context and another is pistol context so first of all let us let me create a, a rifle context so I will create and the objective will be rifle so what this should do is it should uh, spawn and rifle so I will move this rifle base into here I will uh, specify it to be spawned here so uh, one more thing is we don't have to uh, whatever I have done is we don't have to spawn or uh, uh, we don't have to exactly spawn we can just select and leave it is but in this case what happens is it will stay in the world from the beginning itself so uh, what I have created is I have wo I have created some editor functions for my game so I will pick up the actor and just add selector so what happens is uh, whenever we need it, need it to be spawned uh, I mean during the activation of that context it will spawn that uh, weapon or whatever that we have selected now next I will create a context for uh, uh, the pistol so what shall I yeah this will be the pistol context and I will clear all here and I will select the pistol yes here is the pistol I will just place somewhere near it and I will just add it to the objective context Okay, that's all for uh, uh, this uh, this part. And next, I will create this two part, which will involve uh, creating two conducts. One is for collect ammo, uh, pistol ammo. Another one is for rifle ammo. So, which conducts that we have to use is um, collectible conducts, uh, which will check whether the item is collected or not. that's all uh, we are ready for uh, uh, testing it out so let me just 
change yeah already it is using symbol request so I will just play it and we shall see I have got the objective wait a second guys we got something got crashed uh, give me a second I will just be back after guys actually the, I had a crash uh, just now so the crash was because uh, some because of my foolishness actually I should have included uh, the current level to this uh, level map so that it will know that uh, the objective of the quest goal is in this level that we are residing in uh, I should have done that before so what I will do is I will just reselect everything again back once again so if you see if you wonder if you are wondering what is why I am doing is because I don't have to select everything one by one level name here uh, only thing that I have to do is I have to Oh, place the objective context in the levels and after that all I have to do is just select this options and it will auto populate here just like this and so I will do the same for everything else So if you come back here, everything will have uh, the level in which the objective we have objective context that we have placed. So if I and let me run this now uh, and see the branch how it is happening. So it is asking me to go to this location. So once I had reached this location, to spawn this both of the thing. And now what happens is based on the weapon I choose the objective the next goal will appear like suppose if I choose rifle in the sense the rifle ammo will be the next goal so as you have seen uh, it has instructed me to collect the rifle ammo uh, so what I will be doing is I have to collect the rifle ammo which is here so see once it is done the quest is complete uh, now let me uh, let me show the other path um, I will go and shoot everything again I have reached the location I will go and pick up the pistol this time so now it has appeared as you can see in the uh, left top uh, it is asking me to collect the pistol ammo so if I collect the rifle ammo it won't do any changes there See, so I have to search for pistol ammo. Okay. okay, let me go and check the container. Yeah, here it is. So, the quest is completed. Yeah, uh, this is all, guys, for this video. Uh, I will showcase the other branching systems, other branch in the next video. Uh, already, the video is taking too long I guess and after that what I will be doing is I will create uh, a single quest which will which will be somewhat complex and I will show you uh, in following coming videos thank you all for watching have a great day bye bye